Ah, the classic community softball game. A very common Sunday afternoon activity that may surprise you with the amount of dynamics involved. Today, we're going to take a look at the amount of time that a pitcher has to react when faced with the all-too-often occurrence of a softball heading straight for their head. We went and talked with some engineering students at St. Louis University to get their opinions on how fast a pitcher has to react. Hello, dynamics in training. We are going to explain the amount of reaction time you have to react to a softball that is hit at a pitcher in slow pitch softball. So first, we had a few constants. Diameter of softball is 3.8 inches. Human head is about 8.4 inches. The distance from home to the pitcher is about 55 feet. And he throws the pitch from 46 feet, but we're assuming he runs backwards a little bit to give a little more reaction time. And then the velocity of the bat is 60 miles per hour, the coefficient of restitution is 0.592, and the velocity of the ball incoming is 25 miles per hour. So we come over here to the coefficient of restitution equation so that we can find the velocity of the ball after the impact with the bat. Now we assume that the bat decreases 20 miles per hour to around 40 miles per hour, that was just an estimation. Uh, the velocity of the ball is negative because it's opposing the motion of the bat. And so when we plug in all the numbers, we come up to 90 miles per hour. A simple conversion to feet per second gives 132 feet per second. So we come up here to our kinematic equation. We're assuming the acceleration of the ball is zero, so that this term is zero. The starting distance, or the uh, initial distance, is zero. So all we have left is S equals the velocity of the ball times time. So to solve for time, we take our distance and divide by the velocity of the ball, come out with 0.41 seconds. Now the average reaction time of a human is about 0.21 seconds. That's just something we found online. So really the time you have left to move is about 0.2 seconds. So based upon this, um, finding the velocity you need to move your head in order to get out of the way, we know that the head has to move the 3.81 inches away uh, from its initial position and you have 0.2 seconds. So to find the velocity of your head we're assuming that the acceleration is zero at this case. So the velocity of the head has once again the uh, position divided by time and so we assumed that to miss the ball uh, you could round up to four inches which is about a third of a foot divide that by your 0.21 seconds after reaction time and we got a velocity of 1.67 feet per second uh, simple conversion gives you about 1.13 miles per hour so really you don't have to move your head all that fast it's really quite simple well there you have it folks it might not seem like a lot of time but humans can react pretty darn fast this is after all just another instance of dynamics saving your life.